Jimmy here from Ingrain the Train. I'm coming uh, live from Acceleration Sports Performance. You know, the best gym out here. You know, if you're ever in the Chicagoland area, come check us out. We'll get you right up here. But, uh, you know, I'm just filming this video today. I get asked all the time, Jimmy, what should I do for abs? You know, so many articles out there. Do this, do that, do this, do that. So today, take you through an ab routine that I like to do. And, um, you know, the best part about it is you can do it at home. All you need is some furniture sliders. So, you know, a couple bucks at, you know, your local hardware store. And you probably got the best piece of equipment you can use for abs. Okay, so what I like to do is my abs are circuit train style. So I'll just take you through one round of the circuit so you get an idea. I'm gonna do 10 reps of everything, four exercises. All right, now come check it out. First one's fallouts. You're on your hands and knees. Just let your whole upper body fall forward as far as you can handle. Pull yourself back. All right. Some of you will be able to go all the way down. Some of you not so far. That's okay. Go what you can handle. If you want to make it a little more challenging, get a pause at the bottom. Just like that. Alright, next one, one of my favorites, body saws. Just put, a good, put two feet on the sliders, forearms flat on the ground. Again, push yourself back as far as you can handle, pull yourself forward. It looks easy, but this is one of the more challenging ones to do. one basic mountain climbers push up position knee to the chest switch I like to pause get a good squeeze but you can also go fast too whatever you prefer do a teddy slay and the last one to finish up with is straight leg pikes Push up position once again. Some people say this bothers their wrist. You can go on your fingertips or your knuckles. But legs are straight. All you're gonna do is pull your feet towards your hands. There you go, folks. That's one round. You know, I like to take about 90 seconds to two minutes off between rounds. And then depending how I'm feeling that day, I'll do three or four rounds, okay? You know, if you're new at this, start off at two. You know, but always remember, abs start in the kitchen, so get your diet right. And then I like to do circuits like this at the end of my workouts. I would say no more than twice a week, something like this, and get one day where you do all weighted stuff. Rope crunches, weighted sit-ups, things like that, which I'll have a video for in the future. All right, check us out, ingrainthetrain.com. Follow us on Instagram, ingrainthetrain, Facebook, ingrainthetrain, and on Twitter, JimmyI2T. Thanks.